Do you want to know the exact time that you should snap pictures of a solar eclipse for your specific location? The five major eclipse photography achievements are generally first contact, second contact, totality, third contact, and fourth or final contact. And in order to photograph them, you need to be pretty precise with your timing, especially with the second and third contact where you can see Bailey's beads and or the diamond ring. And today I'm going to show you three free web-based eclipse simulators that you can use to prepare for the upcoming solar eclipse. And you can use these simulators for any future eclipse. Let's dive in. Our first eclipse simulator is a familiar one on timeanddate.com. So we go to sun, moon, and space and click on the April 2024 total solar eclipse option here. There's a ton of information on the eclipse itself. Feel free to read through them at your leisure. And we're going to click on this link here. It says detailed eclipse path map. And what that did is open up a map that we can zoom into. We can also go to full screen mode here, or we can search for a location, but we can, I'll zoom in and click on a location where I'll be. So I'll be right around here, a little bit west of Austin. And this window gives you a ton of information. So before I go into the total eclipse, I'm going to click on outside of the total eclipse and show you that it gives you very accurate obscuration data. So in this location here, we get 98.32%. Going back to the path of totality around here, we have a ton of information uh, alongside obscuration. We also have the contact points of the eclipse. So we have partial begins, also usually known as first contact. Full begins is second contact, maximum. It's not a contact, it's just a maximum of the eclipse. Full ends is contact three or third contact, and partial ends is the fourth and final contact. One really nice thing about this information here is that we also get the average cloud coverage for the eclipse since 2000. And we'll also get a weather forecast 14 days before the eclipse, so at the end of March, we'll get even more information on this page. Not only do we have all this information here, but next to the duration, there's a little play button. Once you click on this play button, it takes you to this page here where we have a little video simulator that we can play. I'm going to click on the play button and we'll see a little simulation of what happens. So it pauses here at first contact when the partial eclipse starts and it speeds up and it gives you very accurate time data so you can time out what you should be doing at that time, looking at the sun, taking a break, etc. And it pauses again at full eclipse start, which is second contact. And a couple minutes later, 136, we get maximum totality. And a couple minutes after that, we get full eclipse ends or third contact. And about another 40 minutes or so after that, we get, or an hour after that, we get fourth contact or final contact where the sun and moon are barely touching. So this is a really cool simulation here. It's very accurate. Look up your location and see exactly what the eclipse will look like for you so you can time things out. So I'm going to pause this and I'm going to scroll down. We have some more timing information here. This view tells you the direction and the altitude, uh, as well as the first, second, third, and fourth contacts, and when maximum totality is. Super useful times that you should write down for yourself for your location. If you toggle the detailed view option here, you get even more information, and this is really amazing to me. You get more timing information, such as when the temperature changes, when the shadows start to look blurry, start to look weird. And if we scroll down, we can start seeing even more information such as when the corona starts to appear, when the diamond rings are there, when we can see Bailey's beads, totality, chromosphere, prominences, and we have shadow bands both after and uh, also before, which I scrolled over, shadow bands here, which is a really interesting phenomenon that I've never seen in person. I would absolutely love to record that. So if you're taking pictures, try out all of these various achievements and see how many you can get. Second Eclipse Simulator is also pretty familiar. I've talked about Javier Jubier's website before. This website has a ton of information. So his website here has details on every solar eclipse from 1955 all the way to 2039. So you can be prepared. And we'll click on this here, the Monday, April 8, 2024 eclipse in Mexico or USA. Click on this and we see a Google map overlaid with some useful information here uh, and highlighted is Mexico where the greatest longest totality will be here at 4 minutes and 28 seconds. So I'll close that. We'll zoom in. We'll go back to the exact same area here uh, around Austin. So if you click on an area, you get a little pop up here with information on when partial starts, maximum eclipse and partial ends. So this is outside of totality. If you go into the path of totality here, so I'll be right around here, you see more information such as obscuration, duration, all four contacts. These are labeled C1, 2, 3, and 4, as well as maximum eclipse timing. And when you hover over these rows, you can see, look at the image here, you can see that it gives you a little preview of what it looks like or what you should expect the eclipse to look like at that specific time. Again, the timing is also very accurate, except this 
uses UTC time instead of local time zone. But that doesn't take away from the accuracy. And since this is overlaid on Google Maps, you can zoom in all the way to street level and see exactly where you're going to be. Going back to the main site, if you scroll down, there's also an associated app called Totality by Big Kid Science. So this app has been officially endorsed by the American Astronomical Society. This app can help you plan your eclipse session and it's completely free. It's one of the handful of apps that I'll be using for the eclipse and if there's interest, I'll make a video going over the app itself. Third eclipse simulator website, and this is probably my favorite of the bunch because of one very specific feature, and that's eclipse2024.org. There's a ton of eclipse information here, and there are several ways to simulate the eclipse, including watching videos for specific locations and cities near you. But the way I do it is I click hover over the eclipse simulator menu option and click on 2024 total eclipse. And this opens up a new tab with a familiar map overlay. We can zoom in and click on a location, or you can enter a search here, search for a city, and it'll take you directly there. But I'm going to zoom in, and I know I'll be like around here. And here we get another menu option here. And what we want to click on is the open Eclipse 2024 orgs Eclipse Simulator for Horseshoe Bay or whatever your location is. Sometimes it'll say launch the Eclipse Simulator, but just click on this. We'll get a little terms and conditions pop up, read through it. If you agree with it, say, I agree. And it'll open up a new page with this view. And what I love about this is that once you zoom out, you can zoom out using your mouse scroller, or you can use the zoom slider here. And this gives you a really good idea of where the sun and moon will be in the sky in relation to the ground. You can also use this play button on the bottom left here, which will play out the eclipse at different speeds that you can control. Or you can use the time sliders here. We have a fine timer slide here and a regular timer slide here that goes by seconds. And once you get really close to the eclipse, I'm gonna zoom in using my controller, using my mouse, and I'll use the fine time controller to get closer. Didn't do it close enough, so I'll go up a little bit more with this controller. And once it's there, simulate this, and we can see the eclipse here. We can zoom back out to see what it'll look like. The fine time adjustment here lets you adjust in fractions of a second instead of by second and minutes. And while you're here, you can toggle a few options here, including glare, which will work only when the sun is not in totality. Outlines, you can also do study Bailey's beat, so those, those get highlighted. The study shadows, so that gets highlighted. And my favorite is clicking on this option, stars and planets. So we know for a fact when we're looking at the eclipse from wherever we are in this location, we will see Mercury, it has a magnitude of 4.5, Venus, negative 3.8, Saturn, 1.1, and all the way over here, we have Jupiter at negative 1.9. So these will light up. We'll also see some very bright stars. So if you have a wide angle lens, this would be a really good time to take maybe a slight long exposure and get a bunch of stars in your view. That should look spectacular. An honorable mention to Stellarium, which also has a web version, but it's not as robust as a desktop app or as informative as the other three simulators that I showed you today. If you have a favorite resource, let me know in the comments below. And more Eclipse information coming soon. Clear skies.